The Philippine Coast Guard has accused a Chinese Coast Guard ship of directing a military-grade laser at one of its vessels, putting the Filipino crew in danger. To tell us, to tell us more, here's a John Eric Mendoza reporting live. Eric? A Chinese Coast Guard ship attacked a Philippine Coast Guard vessel on February 6 using a military-grade laser, which caused temporary blindness to the Filipino crew. Coast Guard vessel BRP Malapascua was supporting a rotation and supply mission of the Philippine Navy in a young in shoal in the West Philippine Sea when a China Coast Guard ship flashed a green light twice towards the PCG vessel. The Chinese ship then crossed the bow of the PCG vessel at a distance of 7.4 kilometers or 4 nautical miles as if to warn BRP Malapascua to stop or alter course. Radio, radio challenges were exchanged throughout with the Chinese Coast Guard warning the Philippine ship that it was injured in the jurisdiction of the People's Republic of China. This despite the fact that Ayungin Shoal is within the Philippines' exclusive economic zone where the Philippine Navy maintains its presence through the BRP Sierra Madre. China claims almost all of the South China Sea, including the West Philippine Sea. But in 2016, the United Nations backed Permanent Court of Arbitration and The Hague invalidated China's claim to almost the entire South China Sea. Meanwhile, the latest maritime incident was met with a torrent of condemnation from lawmakers and the military establishment, the Philippine Coast Guard, called the incident a blatant disregard and a clear violation of Philippine sovereign rights in this part of the West Philippine Sea. Armed Forces of the Philippines spokesperson Medel Aguilar also, also called for Beijing to restrain its forces to prevent provocative acts that would put people in danger. Senator Risa Ontiveros, meanwhile, said that China should be penalized for what she called a shameless harassment committed by the Chinese Coast Guard. However, Act Teachers Party's representative, Franz Castro, said that while the incident is highly condemnable, it should not be used as a justification for more sites of the Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement or EDCA, as well as the additional Meritale Agreements with the U.S. and Japan. Neil? That's John Eric Mendoza reporting live.